Okay, so now the idea is to uh, move uh, the second servo of the robot, this uh, servo here, with uh, the joint two axis, will be actually that one there. Okay, and the idea is to move or to have a proper simulation for this closed loop structure that you can see here. Okay, as you know, Copilisim uh, only it's through this hierarchy uh, relation, it's only able to uh, simulate, um, in this case, open kinematic chains. But here we have a closed chain. So in order to uh, to implement uh, this closed chain in, uh, in Copelesim, we need to uh, use a dummy, uh, which is an object that will be in charge of imposing a constraint between the elements and then the chain will be closed, okay? And that's actually what we are going to explain right now, okay? So, the idea is the following one. Okay, so we have this closed chain here, but we can see it as two open chains, one from this side and the other one from this side in opposite direction, okay? So, how to proceed is very simple. We have to follow just the change. So let's say link two needs, so the, sorry, join two needs to move this link to dynamic object. And this link two will be actually child of the dynamic one. And then we have a, a link here. Uh, is that one? Yes. So this link will be child of the dynamic object and then we have the triangle the dynamic object of the triangle which will be child of the um, of the joint five okay exactly and then we have another joint here uh, will be uh, six okay and then oh sorry and um, you need to move the triangle also here yeah and then you have the joint six and in theory, if we continue with the, uh, with the chain, we could, uh, in the end, uh, complete the chain, but it will be an open chain. So now what we are going to do is to implement the chain in the other way around. So from link one, what we have is a joint here. Let me see that one, joint seven. So from link one, we have joint seven, and then we have this a link here which is actually that one yeah so that will be child of joint seven and also uh, this will be child of that one yeah okay so what I mean is that we have one open chain here one kinematic chain here and then we have the reverse change from this side and we have to join them together in this point so we will create a dummy, let's call it link1, for instance, uh, and then let's call it target. And the idea is that we need to move these uh, dummies, we, they need to be moved to this position there. So they will be there, one of them will be there, and the other one will be also in the same position. So now we have two dummies here, okay? And let me just simply change the size of the dummy. So we have a reduced size, and let's move it to the other, to, uh, to the bottom layer. So we have a reduced size, and uh, let's move it to the bottom layer. Okay, so we have the, the two dummies, and now, how to uh, implement this will be, okay, one of the dummies will be child of the joint six. So the joint six, remember, was the one that was dragged by the triangle, and now we have a dummy here. And now the other one will be child of beam four, that one, okay? So we need to set a link between these two dummies by double clicking here and selecting the other dummy so now they are linked okay and now we have to select the link type and in this case we're going to select the dynamics overlap constraint that will make that the following uh, behavior or, or it will behave as we have a chain from here 
and then we have this joint here, and then this link here will be directly connected here. Uh, so this joint will be actually moving as well this element here, and then we'll move this element here that will be attached together with this original link one dynamic object. Okay, so it's set in a constraint here, and as you can see, it's quite easy to understand that this joint here, remember, that was in torque force mode, but the dummy is not actually any uh, uh, object which is a static or dynamic. It has no dynamic or, or uh, static uh, properties. This joint here, due to the dummy, is actually moving, as I said, this bar here too. So it's creating the constraint. Okay, so that's the way we can see that. Okay, so now if we if we just simply uh, create another function for YouTube, uh, we create another. We get the handle for join two. We set the reference initial value to ninety exactly the same, and we copy paste and change the numbers and also these two I'm going to paste them and modify the name with this and this so this one will be pointing there and that one will be pointing there okay and uh, now also here okay that's it okay so I have created another slider for the second joint. So now, if we move this, as you can see, it's moving properly. This closed kinematic chain that we have configured, okay? And obviously, it's still working the first one, okay? That's not affecting at all, okay? So that's, that's it.